Hi, welcome to Termite Machine Works. My name is Keith. Today, uh, we finished waiting for our paint to dry for the last couple days, but we finished up our frame that's going to support the uh, tray itself and uh, added the angles here to bolt this right onto the frame. And we're going to support it by four legs on its own. We're doing that because we're going to have an enclosed air shroud that will be mounted to the table. And to have conflicting mounts all to the table, we kind of decided to do them in separate. We added uh, two inch slots here to have a little bit of adjustment for the water and tray uh, height adjustment. Also inside we'll have adjustable water height there. Overall it's going to give us somewhere in a ballpark about three inches of uh, adjustment. We're shooting really between six and eight is kind of our, our feeling there. Uh, but we can always hack this, lower it. Uh, it's fully adjustable so if something's not suiting we can, we can change it without rebuilding or having to make another uh, set them out. Uh, on the bottom of the leg here we went ahead and tapped out this plate for uh, three quarter inch uh, threads because that's what we had in a nice bolt here. They're long enough to give us the compensation for uh, the sad floor that we have here in the shop and then a, a jam enough to lock it down. We went ahead and uh, uh, cut out and prepped uh, our four uh, ports that we're going to have uh, coming through the tank on the bottom here and we'll have uh, flanges made up uh, that will be supporting uh, female couplers and we got those coming in on Monday so we, we can't we need to get this underneath the table so I can get started on the uh, on the air draft and uh, want to kind of give you a, a preview of what we got going on okay we're gonna have a supply or fill here here we're gonna have a drain if we want to completely clean out the tank these two right here will be uh, dump tubes uh, that will be set at, at their height and, and one will dump at uh, uh, the lower level where the water will be below the grate that I plan on having in the tank and then the other one will be a high level which will be the level of the water above the grate while you're cutting and uh, all we need basically is just a uh, ball valve on the, uh, the lower dump there and uh, the upper one is just a spillway so that the pressure coming in uh, even if uh, this is not shut off uh, it will still maintain that height and uh, dump more water than's coming in the tank. Uh, so that's kind of our plan right now. I'll, uh, we're getting ready to slide this underneath the uh, machine here. I want to give you a view of the top side here. Um, these are intentionally to stiffen the bottom for one, but also be a series of, of upright supports uh, for my grill plant in here. The underneath is really good support so I'm not worried about any kind of load uh, falling through and landing or amount of material building up on it and it's going to be heavy enough to stay put, to stay put. so anyway we're going to start getting it slid underneath the machine and then uh, we're going to get lifted up and we're going to bolt the legs on Got a little zealous to, <laughs> and went ahead and uh, finished up the uh, uh, the cuts we needed to install the downdraft, and it's around the table now. We we got it held up in by blocks right now. Uh, let's take a close look at uh, how it fits. There's what typical corner looks like. And it's got a pad on the inside with four bolts in a corner with four bolts in it. You're just holding up the uh, lip of the uh, grill there and you can see down in there how the, the lip forms. Alright, um, let's go down and see what it looks like down below. Uh, 
as it sucks inside there. Back of the machine there. This would be the right side, another suction. Back to the front. But it didn't go without a hitch. You know, here's uh, four whiskers that we had to shear cut off of the edge that touches the side of the uh, water uh, tray itself. It was a little tight. Uh, it, uh, <laughs> you got to assemble this thing down on the floor and then raise it up. So we had to assemble it, we raised it up, we found it didn't fit, we sheared that off because we wanted to keep it. This is going to mount with these eight screw holes. We're going to drill them out the quarter inch for a real bolt. And uh, we're going to make a half inch spacer. That's what we figured on and it'll fit each one. Uh, and there'll be eight bolts and a, a nice uh, aluminum spacer. A nice washer and nut on the inside and that's how this is going to be held in here. We got, we got it in position now. Uh, now we can mull over how we're going to uh, connect the uh, aluminum up, uh, uprights here into the cowling here and spread out and fan um, so we're getting a good suction out of here and have it, it it'll be all held from above and then this will all be cleaned up. I still got to knock these uh, uh, studs off here, but uh, we're all happy with it. Well, it's a little more than I thought I'd get done today. Uh, hey, we'll, we'll take it. We'll call that a get her done day.